Hey, everybody. Okay, I have got so much work to do. I absolutely should not be making a video right now. But I just realized I had five video responses in my folder for that. But I only log into that email account maybe once or twice a week. I don't stay on top of that. So, if, and most of my videos are set for needing approval, uh, unless it was one that started up front with asking for responses, like the community recycling project for your bloopers. So anyway, Freak Chip, Freak Chip, I just made a video response to a video I posted a month ago, I guess. It was about the Victoria's Secret. Yeah, that was. I won't even bother trying to call it anything else anymore because we all know that's what I was talking about. The irony is I just, a couple hours ago, now nah, a few hours ago, was in um, New York and Company, which is the limited owns New York and Company, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, um, Abercrombie, maybe? I'm not sure if they, I can't remember them all. Um, limited to, but anyway, um, Freak Chip. Uh, okay, before I even continue, the one thing that went off track with that whole video when I made it in the first place was people neglected to realize that Okay, I that I spent the whole video reading the definitions of the words classy and trashy. I'm going by definitions. I am a very literal person. Words have literal meanings. That's why we have them. <laughs> I mean, wor books are literary works. Words have literal meanings. Um, so anyway, Freak Chips, there's nothing wrong with her video that she made on here, but um, but she mentioned sexy, because I had put in, on the end there, then factor in sexy. I had put in then factor in sexy because uh, a lot of people were talking about sexy, which my video wasn't about whether or not the lingerie was sexy. Uh, the sex thing, What people consider sexy is going to be different for everybody. They're, I mean, I, I could get out the dictionary and read the definitions of it, but sexy, think of sex appeal. It, that means it's going to be what appeals to different people. And some people are going to find trashy sexually appealing. And some people are going to find classy sexually appealing. But the words themselves, classy and trashy, have literal meaning. Now, when I made that video... That was just before the Super Bowl, Super Bowl, and it was based on the fact that the Victoria's Secret representatives had called themselves classy. And I took major issue with that because I, I, in that video, I'm going to attach this to it, and you guys can just go follow the link right under here. I read the definition of the word classy. Not one of the definitions for the word classy applied to Victoria's Secret advertising or the way their stores are decorated now, the new decorations anyway. Uh, I know a lot of you in different parts of the country, they haven't um, updated the way the stores are designed anymore. When I was in the mall tonight, I had to walk by it again, so I walked by very slowly to look in because I was thinking about it. I haven't been in since before I made that video. And, uh, yeah, it's just hideous in there. And so when I was in New York and Company buying a pair of jeans because I like the way their jeans fit and some earrings and rings and stuff like that, <laughs> I was talking to the girl behind the counter about it. And I said, I, I was talking about the video that I'd put on here, and I probably was sh shooting myself in the foot because I have stock in The Limited, which is all of those. So if I'm bad-mouthing Victoria's Secret, that I'm not helping myself and my stock. Uh, but when I said to her that I, I found the store to be just completely tacky and there was nothing classy about it, she said, you mean the mannequins? And a lot of people in the comments on my previous video had talked about the mannequins. And no, actually, I don't have any issue with the mannequins at all. I couldn't care less. If you're going to model lingerie, then it has to be on a body, and it does need to be sexy. Um, and the mannequins don't bother me. They didn't have, in our mall anyway, the man mannequins are not in, like, suggestive poses. 
some people commented that the poses the mannequins were in in their malls were very suggestive. So that's not my issue with ours. And ours, the store is just ugly. It's just, I mean, it is but ugly, pink and black. And pink and black, were, those were like the hot colors, what, four years ago? Those are just not the hot colors anymore because it went from pink and black to the pink and brown. Anybody who's into fashion, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't pink and brown follow pink and black? Um, so I just wanted to kind of make this response to Freak Chip, which now I just realized from making it a response to her, then I can't respond, make it a response to my other video. You know what I'll do? I will put her video response in the side. I almost pointed the wrong way. So I will put the link to Freak Chip's video response to my Classy versus Trashy video in the description box. And you guys, when you watch videos, it's a good rule of thumb to remember to read whatever's in the description box because a lot of times, I, um, I know I personally will forget to put something in a video and I'll add it in the description on the side. I overlook things and stuff like that. Okay, that's all.